I got the gold wing in the shop right now getting ready to take it apart and take the carburetors off and clean them out it is um, I guess if you saw the video I did recently I shouldn't say recently it's a couple of three or four months ago about uh, putting some sea foam in the carburetors and it seemed to have helped uh, quite a bit at the time but I think the gasoline that was in it was starting to go bad and it wasn't um, running very good so the sea foam and just running a bunch of new gas through it just driving it a lot that uh, that week or for a few days seemed to help quite a bit but when I started it up to bring it in the shop here it had been sitting for about a month and hadn't run because it's cold it's winter time this is New Year's Eve while I'm speaking and uh, took it about three or four minutes to warm up enough to where I felt good to even try to drive it in the shop from just being parked in a little cubby hole where I keep it when I'm not driving it it uh, needs need to take the carburetors off clean them out replace the vacuum lines this thing is 30 years old I watched another guy's video I'll put a link to it on this when I put it up who has done this before on his uh, 1500 gold wing and um, I watched his video doing the carburetors and so I'm gonna do a video of that myself doing it my way and I don't know what my way is it'll just be my style of doing the video um, but I did watch his video to get a better idea of what I'm getting into because I haven't done it before on this. So I will put a link to his channel up. He's got a number of gold wing videos up. So I know most of you guys that watch my channel are looking for big truck stuff. Well, it's a DIY channel basically and so there's a lot of uh, repairs on things that everybody's got. You know, whether it be motorcycle or lawnmowers or house repairs, whatever. Now to get started on taking this thing apart, what I gotta do, here's one piece that I don't have to take off because it's missing. I gotta take all these side, all this plastic off, side panels, all of these, uh, all of this center, all this top council, all that comes apart. This uh, front cowl comes off, that's a big job. The center one comes off. All that stuff comes off to get to the carburetors on that other fellow's video. If I find a shortcut um, I'll definitely mention it but um, I'll outline taking some of this stuff off during the process but a lot of it's just going to be self-explanatory. This thing here there's even a place to put your finger to pull pull these off so anybody that's got a gold wing already knows that so a lot of this stuff just snaps right off and um, I can't do it with one hand right now but we'll just start taking this stuff apart and getting it ready now I'm going to take off this reverse handle with a six millimeter Allen wrench And when you go to put this lever back on, you got this little pin here. You got a. I took it off with the handle in in, uh, in its driving position here, instead of in the reverse position. And uh, that little pin, of course, it's going to go right in that little hole in the bottom right there. So you just got to line that up when you put it back on. I'm going to take these pockets off on both sides. This one has something that I rigged up and put in here. I'll have to unwire that. Unless I put a quick disconnect plug on it on the inside, I don't remember. Anyway, you don't take the snaps off that hold the uh, cover on, just these mounting screws here, those four mounting screws. Before I get too deep into dealing with that area right there, I'm going to Go ahead and take this top cover off. I've got a couple of 10 millimeter uh, cap nuts 
it right down in there. There's one right here and another one on this side. And then uh, right inside of here we got two little clips, little locking clips. Got to pull those out. One here and one over here on this side. Pull those out and that unlocks this part right here. But when I took that uh, cover off on that side over there I saw a flashlight in there and turned it on and it didn't work. That's because of the cheap junk batteries that it comes with. I should have never left them in there. They're rotted. And so the trick is for this, this has nothing to do with carburetors, but it's going to soak this in some vinegar and that will clean up all these contacts in there and hopefully we can put some uh, decent batteries in there and it'll work again. I'm going to go ahead and pull these little things out of here. We've got pop them loose and they just snap in. get both of those out this one just pops in with these two snaps right here pop into those rubber grommets this grommet's not in too good a shape but I think I got a bag of grommets for these you can get those for gold wings I don't know what the website is but they're easy to find I mean you can get them through JC Whitney or anybody a, a bag of grommets they come with an assortment that uh, plug into everywhere around the bike that you uh, would snap these plastic pieces onto well now I gotta get this cover here off and this is what the uh, radio is attached to. I'm working this one out from under here without taking this other pocket off because I don't remember if it's necessary to take those pockets completely out I'll find out along the way anyway right now we got to unplug these wires that go to the radio that's pretty obvious and I got a looks like trailer wires plugged in here I'll tell you what that is I was kinda goofy I put a, a subwoofer in here and um, looks like I already got uh, quick plug connections here to um, and I've already made an access hole right there for this trailer plug to fit right through there so that I can pull this completely off unplug the jack there figure I would I've got a lot of experience with electric when I build something like that I usually allow provisions to uh, take it off and put it back on yeah I put a subwoofer on that'll be another video if I show how I did that this was all three years ago when I bought the thing it was before I started doing videos I guess we're getting closer to four years now In case you're having trouble figuring out how to get these wires off the radio, this little one here has a little push tab on it that you got to get from up here on the top, and that one releases it. And of course, the antenna just unplugs out. And then these two 
white ones, this one and this one. They're two different sizes, so you don't have to worry about mixing that up. They've got a push tab here that you push in. This one's recessed, and you got to push that in, and that unlocks it so you can pull it out. Both of them have that. For getting this plastic side panel off, I guess the first thing we got to do is pull this little piece of trim right here off of there and stick that neatly underneath. That'll expose these two separations here. And I got to take this screw off down here and one that's in here. Now to get this side cover off, we got to get this front panel off here a little bit. And this part down here screws on. I don't know if we have to take that off yet, but this one up here, if you just lift underneath this corner here, it's got these snap-in rubber grommets. And I just popped it off a second ago and popped it back on so that I can do it on camera. So, here it goes. The whole trick is to do as little as you can get away with, so you got less parts to put back on. Let me try to lift that off on the other side there. Okay, I did get this off without pulling any screws so far, and I had to stick a screwdriver underneath here just a little bit just to lift it up high enough to where I can unplug this little piece that plugs in there but what I want to show you now that I just found out this thing here falls down in a hole right in the well I can't show you just yet this little tab right here right there and it's got a little lock on it too a little small one that just goes right in the hole right here well I don't see any point in taking this grill off because the only thing I can see behind the grill is two radiators one filling this whole grill panel here and then the same on the other side I didn't know it had two radiators they look like a heater core on a car and there's obviously a temperature switch right here that you can't see with the camera at the moment but I got my finger on it so that's where a temperature switch is if you need to deal with that to get access to the screws that hold it on in here you gotta just carefully pop these little plugs off I already popped that one loose and the same thing over here this one's got a hook. This one's got a hook in it that slides in that way and then it plugs in. I save these plastic meat trays. From the store they uh, they're great for holding parts got a stack of them in here now this thing is 30 years old and all this plastic is a little bit on the fragile side takes a regular 194 bulb I might go LED with all these 194s, the ones that are not on blinkers, because you got to do something different to use it on blinkers. Yeah, a little bit of a puzzle. You got to bend stuff. But see, this ear is broken off. It's still hanging on there, but it's broken off right there. 
So, I don't know what I can do to fix that. If I do get around to painting this thing, I'll just have to fix a few things like that. I got a plastic welder, I might be able to do something. But 30 year old plastic, but you know, it would cost more than a new motorcycle to replace all of this plastic. Because they're just, these parts are awful expensive. And then I'll take this one off. And then this obviously goes on this, this little vent here. When you put it back together, you want to line that up on that little pin there. I'm going to try to get a little bit on camera of a, the reason why we got to open this side up here is because there's a couple of screws in there that hold the carburetor onto the intake and I'm going to see if I can't show where those screws are. I see one of them. Can you see the Phillips head that's just underneath the, the, the flashlight? That is one of them. There are two, but there's this vacuum line in the way. And I'm trying to, I can't see what's on the monitor while I'm looking in here. I don't know if we're getting both of those screws in or not. Probably not. There, I think we see both of them now. Okay, now we can see both of them. Those are two band clamps that hold the boot onto the carburetor and, and, and onto the manifold or the intake. And so we got to get access to that on both sides and we have to use a long Phillips screwdriver, but we're not ready for that yet. I'm going to pull this radio wiring down here, down this way, get it out of my way. I don't know what else there is holding this on. Oh, a screw down here on the bottom. Yeah, that screw, that funny special shaped bolt right there I gotta get off. Got that bolt off. <coughs> Looks like we can just start getting this off of here now. Got that radio, that CB radio out. I'm going to go ahead to the other side and I'm going to take off the same plastic stuff we took off over here. And then we'll come and start taking this air filter off. 